Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, thank you for joining us for the forward central city public meeting regarding the storm drain projects that are going along this project. Um, if you guys have not had a chance, we have uploaded a link into the group chat. If you don't mind clicking on that link, there is a sign in page. If you can upload all the information that you guys have email name, phone number, just in case we need to contact you after this meeting with any additional information or answer any questions that may have come up. Um, again, we're going to go and get started. We have everybody muted by default. If you do not mind, please stay muted throughout the duration of the presentation. If there are any questions during the presentation, please feel free to use a chat feature. Uh, we will have somebody read them out during the presentation and afterwards uh, so I can answer them to y'all. Uh, at the end of the presentation, if you do have questions as well, you are able to unmute yourselves and ask the questions at the time. Um, but I will let you know whenever we're ready to start taking questions. Okay, so jumping into the forward central city of storm drain relocation projects. My name is Max Aronson. I'm one of the project managers on uh, this set of projects. We've got a total of 5 projects um, and then also on this call, we have a project engineer from trans systems, Michael Hobbs. So, jumping straight into the locations of the projects, we've got 5 independent projects in and along. Um, this area. Um, all of these projects are in coordination with the Army Corps, who is currently in the process of designing and building a bypass channel for the Trinity River. Uh, the Trinity River will be bypassing and going basically north of downtown between the stockyards and downtown, uh, kind of where that old uh, baseball field is and the Coyote Drive-In Theater. Uh, just to get a location on the map, we've got 35 and 187 over on this side. We've got White Settlement. Um, we've got University on the west side, and we've got Downtown on the southeast side, and the Stockyards on the northwest side. Um, so all of these projects are on one that are within that area. Currently, we've got two proposed bypass channels that the Army Corps will be building after uh, we come through with all our projects. All of our projects have the goal to relocate the existing storm drain infrastructure so the Corps can come in afterwards and build a channel without having any conflicts. Um, on the North Bypass Channel, we have two projects. Uh, we've got Cemetery in Houston, and we've got North Main Street, and then the South Bypass Channel um, has three projects. We've got New Bazaar, uh, Greenleaf Sump, and Viola. So jumping into the individual projects, starting with Greenleaf Sump, this is gonna be on the South Bypass Channel. I'll go through all the South Bypass Channel projects first. Um, we plan to have design completed in February of this year and construction starting in July of this year. Uh, and it'll take about a year to complete. Uh, the estimated project cost is about $2.5 million. Uh, the location of the Greenleaf Sump is gonna be along Greenleaf. It goes underneath the new White Settlement Bridge that was completed late last year. And it goes and uh, will tie into the new bypass channel that the Corps will be constructing in the future. The second project is directly to the east of the Greenleaf project that I just went over. Um, we've got a design completion date of May of this year with construction starting later in September, and it'll take about 10 months to complete. Estimated project cost is about 1.7 million at this time. Um, this proposed project will be creating a new outfall structure to relocate some of the stormwater that is currently captured within the existing system that the city of Fort Worth has, and it will discharge into the existing uh, Trinity River uh, just to the west of downtown. Now, in regards to these two projects, they're gonna be starting construction roughly at the same time, and they're roughly in the same area. We do anticipate some and minor traffic impacts during the construction of these two projects. Um, we will be coordinating individually with the business owners in this area after this meeting uh, to dig a, discuss further um, regarding the traffic impacts that you might see. We do not anticipate any roadway or full roadway closures or any um, cutting off any access to existing parking lots or buildings during the construction of this project. Um, we are going to maintain access at all times. 
And again, we will have uh, connection points from Henderson um, or 7th Street to access any of these properties during the time of construction. Okay, jumping to the last project that is within the South Bypass Channel uh, project limits, uh, it's going to be the Bizarre Outfall. The design is slated to be completed next month uh, with construction starting in June and going into February of 2024. Uh, the estimated project cost is 333000 uh, this project is outside of any sort of roadway and should not be impacting any traffic or any residents um, as it's all within existing core or uh, Tarrant Regional Water District property. Okay, jumping into the North Bypass Channel projects, this is our first of two. We've got Cemetery, Outfall, and Houston Street. This project is building a new outfall that will be discharging into the future bypass channel that the Corps will be building in the future. Um, the construction of that outfall will not necessarily impact traffic. However, there will be some minor utility relocations and work done in Houston Street that will be that may impact traffic in or along this area. However, we do not anticipate any um, major issues accessing any of the existing properties in this area. Uh, design completion for this project will be this month. Um, we anticipate starting construction in May, and it'll take about a year to complete. Estimated project cost is $1.3 million. Uh, now, jumping on to our very last project is going to be the new Main Street outfall. Again, this is going to be the North Bypass Channel. Um, we anticipate design being completed in April of this year with construction starting in August, and construction will take roughly 14 months to complete. Uh, estimated project cost is $4.5 million. This project will be creating a new outfall structure to discharge uh, some of the existing stormwater systems that the city of Fort Worth has in this area at a new location to at a new location into the Trinity River. We don't anticipate any traffic impacts through the construction of this project. Um, as there aren't any driveways that will be affected or accesses to any existing structures in this area. Now that is the end of the presentation. Again, my name is Max Aronson. Um, my contact information is at the bottom. If you guys have any questions that come up in the future, please feel free to write my contact information down and feel free to contact me um, anytime in the future. Uh, additionally, I want you to let everyone know that we will be having individual public meetings in the future for each of these projects as well prior to construction. So we'll have a more detailed timeline, a more detailed schedule, more detailed uh, traffic impact if, if there will be any um, at that meeting for each of these individual projects. Um, everybody who's invited to these meetings will also be notified when those meetings will happen and they should be happening. Um, all of them should be happening within the next four to eight months. So now, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to type them up in the chat, or if you guys are available to, please unmute yourselves and ask away. Actually, we don't currently have anything in the chat at the moment, but we do have a call in user who may not be able to see. So, call in user, if you have any questions, please go ahead and unmute and ask if you have any. Okay, well guys, I'll stay on the line for a few more minutes. If you guys think of any questions, I'll be on. Um, but I guess the rest of my team, thank you for joining. Um, and again, uh, if you don't mind, please use that link in the chat, upload all your contact information and we guys, we can um, happily send you guys any updated information as we receive it. Or if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email myself and I will go ahead and read it out to that call in user. Um, my name is Max Aronson. That's going to be spelled for my email is M-A-X dot a R A N S E N at symbol Fort Worth, Texas dot gov. 
And the phone number that you can reach me at is going to be 817-810-0696. If you needed me to repeat that, please unmute yourself and I'm happy to do so. Okay, great guys. Again, I'll stay on the line for a couple more minutes. Feel free to ask any questions, um, but if you guys do not have any, feel free to drop off. And again, we'll be having future public meetings at each, for each of these projects prior to construction starting. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Max, I'm going to go ahead and drop off and see if I can make my other public meeting. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Max, I think everything, everybody left is city staff. So you can go ahead and. Okay. All right. Colton, thank you. Can you um, get that recording and send it to me when you get a chance?